Okay, hi. Hold on. Hi, beautiful. <laughs> Ooh, slope it down. Hi, beautifuls yeah. and beloveds. Noel Rose Anderson hyphen Kale. Anderson is what part of my name. Gitlin Shorter. Team in Lombardo. You name it. I have a long lineage of different names and everything like that. And this is my beloved. This is my son. Yes. Oh, face reveal. Yes. This is Jaden. J Jaden Anderson. Yes. And you, you see my icon, the little blue cross thingy with the little sideways emoji. Yeah. Classic and emoji smile. So his real name is Jared Kale. Jared but, K. Kale, and I also go by J. Kenneth. Yeah. The reason he uses different names is because only his family, me, and a very close, close friend that's family, and his, his father, my husband, Cole. And I birthed him. He's mine, okay? <laughs> Not that I own you. Close people call me Jared. Yeah. That is the rule. Okay, so now let's clear everything up um, and document it, please. So here I am. I am the only Noel Kale in the world. If there's somebody else using my name, okay, I, I, I have it trademarked, okay? And it's going to be registered soon enough. Nobody can use my name. Okay? Here. This is my... I'm not going to show this part, but... Yeah, cover up go. the right parts. There you go. See? No old kale. That's me. Little redhead. That's me. It's in focus. There we go. Okay. Now, here's my SAG ID. Noelle Rose Anderson. All of you have stage names, too. I know some of them. <laughs> Come on now. So, I know it can get confusing, but we're going to straighten this up because you guys are... You have only partial truths, and I don't like some of the things I'm seeing. Yeah, well. Now, first of all, we love Star Trek. We don't have anything against it. We love the whole thing that it's anti against racism, okay? That's like our thing. Look at my dance company, Ruban Rouge Dance. Don't go to a mirror site. Actually, go to the actual site. He put it up on his Twitter timeline. So we're just documenting this. We hire all ethnicities, every single possible one. That now, when we true. first started my dance company, I wasn't even getting paid. We just did it because we love dance. And I kept telling my dancers, hang in there because we are gonna have some really good things happening. So I pay everybody else and sometimes I get nothing. Why? Because I love dance and I love people and I'm trying to impart upon the world forgiveness, love, and goodness. Yes, that's me. That's not somebody else. It is me. My dance company is me. If somebody came up to you and said, I'm Noelle Kale, they're lying, okay? Because it's only me. There is somebody who's actually imposturing trying to be my daughter. Which we found out recently. Yeah, we found out recently because we were trying to get a Tesla and we ran our credit, and I'm like, why aren't we getting this? We should get it. I have got a good credit score. I worked really hard to clean everything up. We paid off all of our debts. We found that there was supposedly a lot of, uh, what, what do you call those, credit cards trying to be taken out in your name? Yeah, because for some reason his phone, I, I don't have, I have a, a, a number, but I don't have it hooked up to a phone right now. And so, we, it's, it's all company phones anyway. He's a uh, it's online anyway, 818-388-4256. It's a company phone. Yes, but it's mostly his, so I use it too. And so I'm here trying to verify my identity with uh, the credit bureaus, and they wouldn't verify it because they were listing A, B, C, D. Which one of these credit cards or something is yours? And so none of them were. And so that alarmed me. It's like, why are they using things that aren't even a part of my credit history? And then so they went to send, uh, uh, you know, the confirmation number. And that's why we got those prompts. And so I couldn't get through. So then I had that. I redid it. I had my husband do it, actually, yeah. on his phone. Oh, oh, you're missing things? What? So we couldn't use my phone for that because of the prompts were not coming through which, you know, T-Mobile's fault. And because that or we- Or Google, we don't know. Yeah, either or, probably both. But we couldn't get the prompts for, you know. Yeah, but the thing is, that alerted me to think, why are there all of these credit cards in my name? Yeah, and you remember when I got that recent thing, I also got the same question Q&A thing. Four questions, my answer to all of the questions was none of the above. It's like, same thing with you. They were taking out, yeah. trying to take out credit cards and loans, but 
didn't exist. Yeah, and then so we got turned down for our Tesla loan because they said there were too many inquiries. We had two, one was a soft one for an RV, and then the other one was trying to get the very vehicle at that time. So that, I mean, they, they're not supposed to count that against us actually. Um, so anyway, it alerted us that something was wrong. And then a couple years ago, our landlord says, do you have anybody else living with you? I said, no, it's just the three of us. Who else is living here? But anyway, one thing led to another and we found out there's somebody posing as Noel Kale, a 29 year old, older than him, and using our address and apparently a landline. We don't have a landline. We had a landline for two, three weeks and we got rid of it because everyone was using cell phones and it was just like, I was getting tired of all the marketing calls. That might have been why the landlord dismissed it so easily because he was thinking, oh, it must be like a double error thing. Something, but no, there's actually somebody using my persona. There is, we, look, the Kale clan is very small. We know who's in the clan. And we've looked and it up before. We've looked it up before. There is, ne there is no other Noel Kale ever, okay? somebody decided to just take that name and to just run with it and be what they are doing and then using our address and information and i'm like now i can't get credit because of this and then you guys were like okay so we, we're needing help because we just found out what this q thing is okay the q continuum from star trek next generation when we're watching it when we're young almost kids right and you were a baby you know we're not thinking oh there's a group which i always called the corporation so there was a name for them a group of people called q yeah that get literally. vetted and there's one crazy nut job guy who's actually in charge of this and i don't have a problem saying the name and he's not dead by the way so how do we figure that out we, we can think <sighs> well it doesn't matter but the point is i'm getting very emphatic because i'm starting to think and i hope i'm wrong but so one guy is hinting from the star trek you guys right we we were like our ruban rouge account on our twitter everybody uses that it's not just me, just him. Okay, that's a company thing. We have our own individual ones. I use Real Noel Rose. I think that's mine, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, I don't use Kale because I know that Q was like after me, so I was like, I need to change my name if I want to even have a shot in this world to be able to do anything. And, you know, they know who I am now, obviously, and I'm having to say this and clear this up because I don't like being referred to or called or even hinted at not having love or being a racist or anything like that so i'm clearing this up immediately go look at my company wall you tell me we have all sorts of races plus look at this i have african in my own heritage this guy right here well, i'm zooming in okay right here right here he's sicilian and egyptian egyptian is african so you know i think it's cool and look, I'm obviously proud of it. And I'm talking about how proud I am of it. Yeah, he was like, uh, he was her sister and she was like your this great, is my great, great grandmother. grandmother. Yeah, that's right. And so, you know, that's not hard to figure out. Sicily is a little island and it's kind of close to Egypt anyway. But I have Croatian in me. I have all sorts of Polish. I have, you name it. I think the Islanders is the only thing I don't personally know that I have in my blood, but all the people in my family interracially married. Tell them what your your heritage is from your father. A Native American Indian. Yep, Chickasaw Quite. and Choctaw. Yeah, and I believe Cherokee was believed to be in there. If we look far enough. Yeah, but you're probably... not on the roll. Yeah, but we could probably get it on the roll at this point. We're gonna try, we're gonna see. So I'm here being all supportive. I interracially married. I even had a son interracially. And I mean, I would have to hate my own self. You guys are not thinking right. I don't know if Q is like changing things on our timeline and you're seeing one thing. You know how they like to do that parallel alternate universe? Like, same thing with my book. So it was hinted at us that we need to do a live reading of this book. This, careful, this is what we get when we order from Amazon. It is the true version. But what are you all getting? That's why we think there were two different versions and how did they paint me? And then is my supposed daughter, which is a fake imposter, going around promoting the other book or I, I have no idea and then I saw some pictures and I'm like that person doesn't even look like us like me mm -hmm. you know you know how they do at Disneyland they don't cast to make you look like the character 
they cast to make sure you look like the other person that was cast in there. And they're very open about it, very public about it. I'm telling you what it says. And they do it because when they take breaks, they want it to seem seamless between one cast member to the next one. Okay, I don't think that's a big deal, but you know, obviously people do this kind of stuff and it can be done, but they're not picking somebody that looks like me really at all. And I think you guys are being fooled or something bad is happening to us, okay? Now, let me show you things in my heritage. So I am goofball supreme. I am. Yeah, it's like a Lucy thing. I know, I get it off my grandmother. I don't know what it is. I'm not stupid, but I do stupid things sometimes. So if I said something that was stupid that made you think we had Nazis in our family, I don't. We do not have Nazis in our no. family. No. So this is our family crest, one of them. So we've uncovered a lot. And when my family members died, I think they're dead. I don't even know now. A lot of bad stuff is going on. Okay, put that down. And uh, look, so I might have misspoken, but during World War II, one, we have a relative, very high prestige, John Rudolph Schurter, and he had his own boat, right? See, I, I'm not into the military thing, but we have a strong military background in my family. And he had high honors and prestige, and he was like an amazing human being, not a Nazi. If you can see what this says, it says, Zerk Switzerland. So he was on the good guy's side or something, okay? Um, so don't get bent out of shape. Now, we also found more things. There's a count in our family, and there's a lot more than just that. So before all the craziness happened with the Nazi party, uh, Germania, right? Very powerful country, very rich country, very beautiful, great, wonderful. And there is some royalty lineage somewhere, somehow there, and we keep digging. Now, you guys gotta understand something. Go look at everything that I've done, okay? You're hearing it from me directly. I know I look young. Some people think that I'm his younger sister because I look ridiculously young. I don't know why. I, I eat well. I have good genes. My mom, she was a beauty before she died. Even when she was dying, she looked beautiful. Go look at my pictures on my Facebook, which would be, I don't even know if you guys can access it, but it's, it's Noel Rose Anderson. I'm trying to change it, the last name, and put what it really, my whole thing. Something funny is going on, and we're not doing anything funny. So anyway, there is no other Noel Kale. I am the only one. My husband would know. Now, you know all this mind, Jedi mind trick, mind fucking, sorry for saying it so bluntly, but somebody is messing with my husband's head because our private conversations that my husband had no privy to, he's regurgitating excerpts of them in response to our new conversations that we bring him into. It's like, what is going on? Something very bad is going on. So imagine knowing that something bad is happening in your life, but you can't put your finger on it. And then all of a sudden you say, or I say, why is everyone stealing my intellectual property? I don't want this. What is happening? And then so you, I made a dissertation. Okay, I sent it to President Trump, I sent it to Pelosi, I sent it, you name it. I didn't, I didn't say, oh, you're a Republican, oh, you're a Democrat, oh, you're independent. We sent it to everybody. Everybody. We actually sent it to the Democrats first, just, just so you know, factual. Yeah, uh, Pelosi, Schumer, mm -hmm. a lot of the important ones, I do believe. Yeah, and we kind of like them even more now. I was mad at them because they didn't help us at first, but now I'm liking them even better. Let's just say we found out some nice things. Yeah, so we're surprised and very happy about this. And anyway, so um, we have been at this for almost three years saying, look, the second we, we started speaking up, I had to call the Nielsen company and say, no, I don't want your damn crap in my home. They're like, you can be a Nielsen family. And they kept sending us this survey. I'm like, no, we're in the film industry. You can't even do this legitimately. That's true. And it was just really pissing me off. So I basically, I called and I had to be, stop it. I had to be very forthright, very firm, and then we sent letters, and we sent copies of all these letters to the government, everything. And... They eventually stopped. 
Yeah, and then we were in a major car accident and my spine, the curve of my spine, I'm a dancer. You know how hard this is on me? I had a spinal cord injury and I was a passenger and we had one of our board members who's an old, older lady, my best friend almost, right? And she did a great job avoiding the person that cut us off, but the person behind us slams into us and somehow all of our heads hit. It was just a great amount of force and a uh, good thing we didn't die and we could have, and I'm still paying the price. And I, I was talking to her about the love of Jesus Christ and how we should celebrate our birthdays together because we had a big birthday, both of us coming up at the same time-ish within a couple months. And I was thinking of some wonderful things. And here I am imparting upon her the love of Jesus and everything like that, and bam! Yeah, so you want to talk to me about love? Yeah, to clarify, your head hit the windshield. He saw it happen. I blacked out. Her, her head hit, I think, the steering wheel. Yeah, she had a mine gash. Did, mine did not hit anything. Mine got the whiplash where it you know, did this to the brain. Because he was sitting in the back seat. I was sitting in the right passenger. and It was painful, that's for sure. We, I still experience pain from it. So the curve of my spine is completely reversed now. And as a dancer, it's very detrimental. And I lost a lot of flexibility and mobility because of that. And that wasn't the worst of it. The worst of it, three and a half weeks later, we almost, my family, my brothers and his babies and his beautiful wife, he interracially married too. We love them, okay? They're Asian. Islander, Asian, right? Yeah. So, I mean, it's like, come on, one of my favorite mentors is Asian. So it really pisses me off if anybody even gets a slight inkling that, that, that I'm a racist or any of us are because we have legitimate proof. I would have to hate my own self, okay? Because I have all of this in my own blood. We did the heritage charts here. And um, my mother's boyfriend's mom ran it on it was like a christmas gift really nice for my husband my son and for me all my brothers and everything and it was a beautiful gift and so we found out more okay and we really don't understand what is going on <laughs> we are new to all of this q stuff we we knew something bad was happening to our lives, but we couldn't name it. We couldn't say this, this, this. Even when we sent our dissertations, all we had was this is what's happening and the facts and the evidence supporting the facts of what we had. And I have a feeling the reason our government didn't like immediately respond, they're you know, like, oh, shh, Q. You know, we have a big problem here. We need to protect these people and you know, all of that. So you guys, you gotta, you gotta understand something. Uh, we're on your side actually, I believe, right? Good guys. Um, I'm not a witch and apparently there are witches out there. What is this? This, look, this is new to us. So we get in the feeds and we get all these hints from our friends and stuff like that, that there are people that want to carve out my, my stomach and everything in and, um, you know, age me and make me old and ugly for some reason. And some of these people I went to church with many years that you were a baby many 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 I years ago to remember these people and they were causing me problems and they were acting very just mean to me all the time trying to set me up and doing all these hideous things and i told my husband it's like you need to do something it was so weird because we went to the church it was a calvary chapel and there was one pastor there and we liked that pastor and then all of a sudden he broke his leg and then this new group this entourage of new people came and I'm like, okay, well, we're supposed to love our brother and sister as ourselves, so okay, we'll welcome them. And it just didn't go well, but I fell in love with every single person. I always fall in love with people. I get very connected to people very quickly and very easily because I love everybody, okay? I don't have a history of not loving people except when they show themselves as enemies, I, I can't. I can't anymore. I can't be so loving because we are being persecuted. You see these walls here? This is what we have to live in because we were poisoned out of our home. We are called Jew dogs, okay? I don't think anybody is treated worse than Jewish people. I could be wrong, but from my experience, we have, so don't talk to me about race and racism because we have been at the very bad end of it, okay? I don't, I don't like what I've had to go through. I don't like what anybody has had to go through. Now, you know, for Africa and all of this stuff, look at some of my videos, 
okay? Look at some, I want, I wanted to be an ambassador for, for Africa because I went to a cancer clinic in Mexico and I had Mexican nurses, I had Mexican doctors, I had German, I had all sorts, all sorts, okay? They helped me heal. And while I was sick, I was actually helping other people who were in the cancer clinic do the program too. Okay, I was dying and I didn't care. I'm like, no, I'm gonna help people. If that's not love, you guys need to stand corrected. I have evidence of this, okay? I am, I am just that way. Anywhere I go, I'm like, how do I help you? How do I serve? It's not like, you have to serve me. It's like, how do I serve you? What do I do? So everything we did coming forward with our dissertation, me mostly, it, it's not him, it's me, okay? So someone's got some wrong ideas somewhere, okay? He, he's my best ally and best help. This is my son. I always call him my Samwise Gamgee. It's actually in the beginning of my book too. Here, you look this up. It's in here and then acknowledgements or something about you being Samwise. Okay, hold on. That's either in the front or the back. It's in the front part someplace. I want to read that again. Okay. And, you know, I'm laying my life down for a friend. I don't know you people, but I call you friends because I didn't think you were enemies. And then this one younger gentleman, younger than me, that's very disrespectful. But, you know. Oh, well, here I am, right in the front right there. Not sure if that's the same reference, but... Well, I dedicated the book to you because you are my son Liz. No, oh, no, 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 it's it's in the acknowledgments. Oh, okay. Well, here, here look in here. Um, but you guys have to understand something. We were poisoned out of our home since last year, so we have been driving around running for our lives. Do you have people dumping stuff through their tailpipes on you? And then we actually have little planes. We have pictures and videos of all this and people laughing at us while they're poisoning us. Here it is. My son, him. You're reading it now, yes. My son, I already mentioned you in the dedication. You are my sound wise on this epic journey. Okay. So I started reading my novels, my books that I wrote, because we got the inkling through the grapevine that Amazon is letting us have our original copy, one version, and letting everybody else have another, meaning the public. And if that's true, Mr. Bezos, you need to jump on our boat and help us. Or someone's getting sued very badly because obviously that's not what we intended. What we intended, we have copies of. I remember all those complaints saying that, was it with a crate space? Is that the... it, it was originally on crate space. And then people were commenting on the BBB that crate space kept trying to not let them get their residuals. From I, yeah, the I haven't gotten any. And my brother bought the book and I didn't get a single residual. But it might explain why Amazon keeps saying that there's a used version of everything. I'm very pissed off and very hurt because I didn't say, there isn't even a swear word. I think the worst in here is hell. We wanted to make it very clean, you know, so younger people could read it too. I mean, there's some intensity in it as far as relationships, but it's, it's just a beautiful book. And my brother, he only ordered this one. And he said, well, you know, there's some things there and about your rape and your grandfather and all this. And I'm like, that's not even in this book. It's barely mentioned. Something funny is going on. He was actually trying to tell me in code that I might want to check out my book even further and see what's going on. And other people have said the same thing too. So that's why our friends gave us the idea to read my book out loud so you can compare. I'm being straw manned. And now we've got this Star Trek thing going on here. Guys, my husband and I wrote this killer awesome novel and we worked at the Mirage and you can look on the video, the security video, and a security guard who befriended us, I didn't know him from Adam, but I'm friendly with everybody. And he's like, oh yeah, my friend wants to write for this. It's like, you know what? We have this novel, why don't you get to know the characters? Because we know the characters very, very, very well. Yeah. and. I can't wait. We're, we're going to go back and we're going to make this a miniseries or something. Turn it into a script because I think it would be amazing. And everybody has a featured part and then the relationship between Picard and Crusher is very intricately woven throughout. That's like storyline. That, that's eight. what people like. Yeah. That's why we wrote, you guys and, wrote and the that. history. And we got that from a couple of the episodes that were airing some of the information on their characters. We knew that something bad happened and there was some kind of, you know, 
And then like a year and a half after, after we, I, I quit my job because I was pregnant with him and I didn't want all that smoke getting to him. So, um, yeah, that was really interesting. Uh, so I, I had quit, but my husband still worked there. But a year and a half after that, we see attached come out and I'm like, honey, that's our novel very close but we had we didn't have the two sides you know we had uh Cronin which was a crystalline entity which would be Q who was trying to control everybody and everything mm -hmm. it, it's a very very strong very good piece I love it and um anyway so we're like what is going on and then we see the little mermaid and then we see images and promotional materials that look like my younger pictures of me with my little brother on my back. And I'm like, this is Ariel and Flounder. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is going on? My dad, my stepdad, he sent my script into Disney and um, we were all friends with one of the executives not, Sisters. We're not going to drop the name. Is that what I'm saying? Oh, I'm ready to. Oh, okay. I mean, really, it's it's truth and factual. And we have pictures. We have documents to prove all this. And then they just blew me off as a kid, as a kid, and saying, well, it would be a conflict of interest. And then all of a sudden, Nielsen got into our house somehow. And then our private conversations were turned into TV series. Because I was going to do Generation Gap. Guess what that was based on? I came up with that first. And then somebody you know, cherry-picked. And they even modeled the characters, this what they turned it into, after people in my family. I'm like, oh my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it just kept happening throughout time. And I'm like, something has to be done. And then I got married, you know, your name changes, they lose track of you. And then I'm like, oh, we're coming back out here to Hollywood because I lived out here and I worked for Aaron Spelling. And so some of you I actually talked to on the phone. Some of you I might have said hello to in passing. I don't know. All of you. Some of you that was way before your time. Whatever. <laughs> Can you move your arm? I really oh. need to get a little yeah, more yeah. comfortable. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, you guys don't know everything that's going on. So you know this much. We know this much. Our government knows this much. And Q knows everything, obviously. So here's the thing. I'm not afraid of Q. And I'm ready to name the group members off like this. That's how much I am not afraid. And I am laying my life down for everybody. I'm not saying, oh, just you, just you, just you. Sometimes it makes me mad thinking about that because, you know, here I have people who I, I like. I like you guys, you Star Trek people, very generally and genuinely. I mean, I, we don't know each other that well, but I don't have anything against you. But now I might have to because it's like, wh why are you blocking our company account for? Yeah, it looks like they haven't talked to each other about the situation. You guys need to confer. Play Scrabble. I mean, you know, go to the beach, right in the sand, do something, put an umbrella overhead. There are things you can do, but I, I am definitely not a racist and I, I, I don't want to have to sue people to get them to stop because that really hurts me because you're, you're hurting my heritage too and all my family members. Now, my dad, separate person. I am not him. He is not me. Do I approve of everything this man has ever done and said? No. Okay, I'm showing him the love of Christ and being patient. And listen to some of our phone calls. Some days it's like, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, you just get so tired of it. And some days I can say, Dad, come on. You know, I'm trying to love on him and bring his heart to Christ so he doesn't feel the way he does. You know, he's never done anything physically wrong to anybody, mind you. Be very careful about that. But he's not... He's not an evil person. Evil is Q. That is our enemy and that is who we need to block. That is who we need to fight. Not me. I don't know why anybody would have anything against me. And it really fucking hurts me because I am not doing anything wrong to anybody. And I have to protect my son's life and my life and my husband's brain who's getting mind fucked every day. And he comes at me and he does some horrible things to me too. And I don't do anything. I'm not doing anything wrong and I'm fighting for everybody. I came forward with the truth for all of you. I am heartbroken. You know how many people I didn't even know David Bowie, but watch 
Josh's Black Star video, you know what he's saying? I do. He had the courage to do that. And I'm picking up his mantle and I'm going forward doing all of this stuff. And if anybody thinks that I'm even slightly racist, you come here and prove that to me because you're a liar. My own heritage shows it that I'm not. My dad doesn't even know half the stuff. It's on my mom's side, the African blood. He doesn't know. He took a hit. He took a hit for the heritage, for the crown. Do you understand? Because somebody is imposturing people that's saying that they're long lost relatives. What he do is noble and brave. Why don't you focus on that? You better not be calling me things that I'm not. You can call me a dingbat, fine. I'm stupid sometimes, I even know that. I'm an idiot, I'm moronic sometimes, fine. I even know that. I love everybody and sometimes I love the wrong people, fine. Another flaw, I know what my flaws are. That's not one of them. My whole company is based on the rainbow, the human rainbow. You know how much work I did for LGBTQ? You know how much work I didn't get paid. And I'm not asking for money. I did it because I believed in loving everybody. Fight for love. That was our show. That was about loving everybody, no matter what. And then the subplot was a dystopian society, meaning Q, trying to shut everybody up and keeping everybody from loving everybody. So we're not enemies, so don't make it happen, okay? That's Q playing us against each other. Grow up and be mature about this and be in our shoes for two seconds, okay? We have to sleep in our car, eat in our car, do our excrementing in this car, everything. Because every time we go outside, I have 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes a day where I can walk real quick before these people find us and just use their tailpipes and smoke us out. Because I love dance and I'm trying to do this very, very passionately. I don't want to give up my dancing. So I try to stay into shape as much as I can and it's not easy to do. You know how heartbreaking that is? You know, and so I'm like, why block us? We reached out for help. He's like, put your phone number out here. And I'm like, is he talking to us? Maybe he wants to help us. We don't know. We're learning this whole new silent language that everybody has. We're very forthright. We don't play that game. So we send him our phone number thinking, well, maybe he can help us. We don't know what's going on, okay? Like I said, you guys know this much, we know this much, and our government knows a lot more, and Q knows everything, okay? We are doing our best, and we're doing it for love. I'm not even doing it for myself. I even listened to our conversations. I even said, son, I'm doing this for you because I can't even love myself enough to do this. I have to find something bigger because this is pretty heady. Have you had people try to kill you almost 24 hours a day? And when we're sleeping, we have to take shifts. We have to hire security guards. By the way, they're all different colors. They're all different sizes. This person, watch. We have it all on video. Go watch our videos. You know what it's like when you wake up in the morning and people are circling around you and then they purposely dispense something that makes you really sick out of their, their tailpipes and they video record you gagging and laughing at you? That's hatred. We're not showing any hate towards anybody. Really, you need to see this for what it is. We have that clip on you. Yeah, go watch it. You probably should put it up on your wall. Mm-hmm. That makes me so mad and it really hurts because I don't know you guys from Adam. And one of you did hold our son when he was just first born, okay? So I don't know what people are telling you, but you got it all wrong, I think. <sighs> President Biden, please do something and at least tell these people because we don't need any more enemies, especially these guys because I kind of really like them. This is really fucking ridiculous that we have to go through this. You guys should be standing up for us and helping us because we are laying our lives down for everybody and that includes you. And I have a very precarious situation that I'm pretty sure none of you know.
So anyway, no hard feelings. I still love you guys, but you need to know the truth and you need to know where I'm coming from too. We took a chance even responding and liking this person's page in return. And then I'm seeing things that I don't like. What is this hint drop? Surgery? What kind of surgery? Are you talking about detaching from my family? You're trying to get my son to detach from me? Yeah, that won't happen. Th yeah, that won't happen. And I taught him how to love. Not his father, not my father, me. All me. Because he sees how I help, help people who are hurting me. And that's well documented too. I'm not gonna let Q straw man me. Why? Because I have the factual truth and I have all this evidence. This, this is some of it. This is some of our evidence. We have files, files full of evidence against these bastards. You need to thank us for even being brave enough to stand up. And that is exactly where I stand. If you don't like it, that is just too bad and you're lost because I will remember it. And I know our government is going to come through for us. And the people who really know me and love me are going to come through for us. And you're going to be apologizing. Oh, I'll accept your apology and I'm willing to. But don't treat me badly in the process because you're endangering my life even more. And my son's. What more do you want to see? Do you want to see more family tree? I can show you anything you want, but this is my son. He came out of my body and I was almost killed three times over and he was almost killed in the hospital when he was in my belly. They were trying to give me tributylene. You know that stuff causes spontaneous abortions. And thank God I read an article a few weeks prior to having to go to the hospital because I was in preterm labor. And a nurse is like, oh, here, let me give you this. I'm like, who the hell are you? No, go look at the tapes. And I pull my arm away. I said, no, 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 find a better way. And it's, oh, well, we can use hydration methods. And it worked. And he was almost born still. He was purple and he, he ranked a two on the Apgar scale. I suffered greatly to bring him forward into this world. So this is what your little antic did. You really hurt a real human being who really loves. I'm not saying that you don't, but you showed a, a, an act of hatred and trying to play my son against me. That's also hatred. And I actually liked you guys. I don't get it. I really don't get it. So you're all going around lifting him up as if he's so wonderful. He is that wonderful, but... That's not, that's not even good lifting up anyway. They're, we got nothing. These people aren't giving us anything. No, we're the ones who have it. We have it right here. Beautifuls and beloveds, we are doing this for everybody. I'm doing it for him. I don't love myself enough to suffer like this, to even do this for myself. Can I do my thing for you? I know. I didn't go on Twitter for me initially. <laughs> and I didn't go on social media for me either. I did because I wanted to show my ballet teacher that I loved her. Nothing weird, sisterly love to say, you know what, I think you suffered. Let me help you, let me be a friend. And I got a lot of shit for that too. How could somebody doing something good have to su suffer like this? So I'm not going through it again, not with you people. You don't even know me. That is just really awful. So check your hearts first before, you know, why the hell would you do this to me? You don't even know me. Who told you what? It's a fucking lie. Keep talking. Okay, um... Sorry, I don't know things just to say on cue like that. I usually just wing it. We've been bothered by a lot of bad people, and you guys need to get your shit straight. That's what I think. This is my mother's death certificate. Lovely. Keep talking. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for more of that hurt. 
Oh, this is your pharmacy technician certificate. Oh, is that where we put it? Mm-hmm. Okay. We have all of our petty stuff in here. Mm -hmm. Sorry guys, I'm not good at this whole talking thing. <laughs> it's, I do much better when I have time to just think about what I'm typing usually. I know. I have so much shit in here, I can't find everything all at once. But this is just very upsetting. This is when we graduated from UNLV. Don't let dead air sit there and say something. Okay. Um. Uh. So I've not practiced spontaneous information before. Do you mind if I go completely off topic? Or what are you going to talk about, baby? I'm not sure yet. I talk about whatever. It don't matter. Okay. Uh. What do you think? All right. Well, maybe should I just talk about why I'm not that good at talking in public yet? <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Well, I have a mental handicap, and I'm just not good at talking to people generally. Went through a lot of bad shit as a family, and ultimately I just kind of lost that skill. Didn't want to talk to people, still don't really like talking to people. And apparently, since we've been in an apartment that has been poisoned for... How long have we been there? Long, 15 years. Well, 15 years. Apparently that was just causing more brain damage for me. And it took me a lot of time just to get good at talking to people again. I can barely handle one-on-one -on -one conversations. Twitter something else entirely. <laughs> I know. It took me a while to get used to that, even. I'm trying to find all of our family trees here. I don't know what happened to everything. Everything is just so... They're all together in one area. I know. I just had it, too, and I just showed them. Well, it doesn't matter. I have all the evidence that I need. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you guys have to really be careful. You know, and I'm here thinking, okay, when this is all over, I want to work with you guys and stuff. And I'm like, oh my gosh, wouldn't it be cool? And I'm trying to make myself happy so, you know, we don't fall dark and deep and under because we have to survive this, you know. And then we we're all happy thinking, oh, okay, well, we've got some friends. And then come to find out, you guys are just stabbing us in the back. Yeah, and see, we have our live scans. It shows that we don't have any criminal activity or record or anything like that. This is your CPR thing. You're all ready to go. Yeah. I would say it's weird that all these verified accounts started responding to every, uh, everything I was saying just all at the same time. Yeah, like I know. <laughs> you guys are trying to like play us against each other or something. That's how it's coming across. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh my god. Oh, this shows when we started, see, June 29th, this is when we started living at that place, and we've never moved. We've been at the same place for 15 years. Carolyn Barry, she was one of my mentors. She That's, trained me. That name sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. Business license, I mean, all of our real shit in here. I'm just really pissed off because, I mean, how would you guys feel if you're doing all of this stuff legitimately and helping people and we're thinking, oh, okay, well, maybe these people like us. That's really good because we always used to watch their show. Like I said, I didn't watch it past the next generation because I just had too much stuff to do. John Ensign. See, this is me. This is Kale, John Ensign. It's documentation that I existed and I did things even before. I, I, you guys, look, see? This is my, my, my little, I, I was a cookie champion. I sold a lot of cookies when I was a little girl. Outstanding citizenship. This is in my math class of all things. That's me. 
I've always been a good person. My high school diploma. I mean, these are all my important papers and everything. How fast I type, 66 words per minute, nine errors, I've gotten better. Oh, everything, our house. Oh, here's our tree. I knew I had it. Yeah, the rest of them. This is yours. This is the Branch one. of Cherokee was part Chickasaw to Shamingo. This right is here. Me. This is mine? Yeah, that's you. Jared oh. Kenneth. Oh. This is my husband. This is my son. See, not a racist. I married a Native American. And see, Chickasaw, Branch of Cherokee. And he's also Choctaw. We need your guys' love and help, too. We don't need this bullshit. So I think somebody really needs to, like, stop and stand corrected because that's really hurtful. This is when I make costumes for more Park College showing that. See? Kale, that's me. It's me, too. This is just really fucking pathetic. And all these snarky hit drops and stuff like that, you know? And he's showing them to me and I'm like, oh my God. It's not okay. So I don't know much about this Q thing. I could use some help. And somebody's gotta tell you, please, President Biden, somebody tell them that we're not part of Q, that we're trying to get them in trouble, actually. The not you guys, but Q. Yeah, the bad guys. The bad guys. Because you know what Q was doing? They were taking my private conversations or opinions of things that I had, and they were actually, like, invoking them or something. I was like, I don't want to be their queen bee or queen of hearts or whatever that term is. See, we're just still learning. And I'm like, this is getting a little freaky here. I don't want to have anything to do with these people. I am not associated with these people. Nothing in my lineage is associated with these people at all. I'm really upset, as if my life wasn't bad enough as it is. So we now have Q people trying to kill us because we came forward. Just go ask anybody in government. I'm sure they will fess up somehow to you. And government people, you need to say something because it's not fair that we are doing all of this and we're being treated like shit, okay? So now it's being hinted that there is some kind of electrical bomb planted in our fucking car and in our apartment. So, yeah, we're like not with the Q people, okay? We have nothing to do with them. If they took, oh, I'm sorry. Careful. If we, if they took our stuff, they did it without our blessing, without our con consent, and we have sent cease and desist letters. Go look at our timeline, who we sent these cease and desist letters to, and why. So, no, I'm not a witch. I don't know anything about witchcraft. I don't, I, I'm a born again Christian I ha, and, and Jew. I don't want to have anything to do with anything sinister like that. To me, it's satanic. And I don't know if they're good witches. I mean, God, who would think that? I'm I, pretty sure there's no such thing as good witches based on okay. the content I'm hearing. Well, I don't know. These people are so into the Wizard of Oz and hint dropping Oz, A H H S, and. O Z and Z O spell back, and I'm like, oh my god, I can't handle this anymore. I'm not like that, you know. I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. Sometimes I say something really wrong because it's not what I meant, or sometimes I say something and type something on something, and I'm legally blind too. So give me a half little bit of break here. So yeah, I'm pissed off, but anyway, I'll get over it. See, and people walk around with dogs around us, like a lot, because they know they probably hired people through their little casting company to call me a Jew dog. They're driving past us while I was walking into my yoga class. Someone else called me a hussy, and I'm like, I don't even have enough energy to be with my husband half the time. What is, what is hussy? What decade are you from? That's before my time even. I don't know what the fuck that means. 
but if it means slut or something like that, I'm like, what? I'm just really sick of this shit. So, somebody inform this young gentleman and anybody else who is wrong, because they're wrong. And we will start suing people. We don't want to, but you know, hey, if you're gonna start saying things like that, it's wrong. Here. This is all ethnicities right here. All three different kinds. My dancers. Mm-hmm. You put up that one thing on the wall, right? Which thing? About our company. That one picture with all of us in a bubble. Um, it's like a sphere. I don't know. That's on the company? Yeah, it has all of us. I mean, that was one of my favorite photos because it's like we finally got everybody together at the same time and we had like everybody there and they're all like all different. Yeah, isn't that... That's also the profile pic for our YouTube channel, isn't it? Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, yeah. And two of my, my partners are Hispanic. Mexican, Hispanic, you know. And I love them. Most of the time we don't even have white people in our dance company. Sometimes it happens that way, but most of the time it's not that way at all. No. When people <laughs> think white, that's mostly usually Armenians or something. Yeah, we're also part Armenian, Croatian, a whole bunch of different things. Yeah, see? He's Mexican. He's half... Are These are my dancers. That's me. That's, you know, that never even came into play. It's coming from you guys, which is so disappointing. And again, if you have a problem with my father, I give you kudos if you can change his mind and change his heart. He's gotten better. I would like to think it's because I spoke to him. Well, ain't that the thing when you find out someone's racist? Aren't you supposed to like try to change their mind? <laughs> yeah, you don't cut people off. Oh, and see, this is from Red Ribbons. I was raped by my grandfather. His name is Frank, not Glenn. Glenn is my father. So if somebody is impostering as my daughter and they're pretending that these books are theirs, they're wrong. I would like to know exactly who this person is because we want to put them in jail. It is a criminal offense. And they're ruining my reputation, apparently. I don't have a daughter. And in this day and age, I don't think I want a daughter because you have to worry who are they going to marry with, you know, rape and all that stuff. Good God. But I'm very angry because, you know, all this stuff is happening to us and nobody is like completely telling us the whole story. And then I got some of you people who are doing this. I, I it makes, right? Mm -hmm. It's just like, and he's witnessing this. And you're making that public. You guys are looking bad. You don't look good. You look bad because you don't understand what's happening. So now you're going to go down in history of falsely accusing me, the person who came forward against Q, not my fake daughter. And thank God we tried to get a Tesla because we wouldn't have known all of this. Because, you know, when our landlord says, you have anybody else living with you? Like, no. Anyway, this was the year we graduated from UNLV. We're in the book. You know, we can definitely prove who I am. What is this so-called 
fake daughter of mine going around pretending that she made Ruban Rouge and she wrote these books? Put it together, people. If the lineage is proving out to be true, that we do have a crown somewhere in the lineage there, wouldn't it make sense that Q would want to put their people in place and knock us off and put their people in alignment? That's what they do, okay? That much we do know. See, you know this much. We know this much. Our government knows a hell of a lot more. So don't make our lives harder because the government is watching and they're gonna see what you're doing too. And I would hope they would reprimand you just a little bit and say, lay off these people because they're right. <sighs> yeah. Well, the fact that we can even get these people's attention might kind of, might kind of say that uh, something's going on. I know, but I don't want the wrong kind of something good going on going on either, or the wrong kind of... I mean, does it come across that way? He, this young gentleman, I don't know, he seems nice, attractive, polite. Loving? Yeah, he hits, he hits up your account, right? Huh? He hit up your account first, right? My personal one? No, 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 the, what was it, the business? Oh, he, Ruban Rouge? That's yeah. not my account, that's he, just the okay, yeah, business yeah. account. Yeah, he hit up that account first, and then... Our, I'm like, okay, should we re reciprocate? Because we've had some weird people do some weird stuff to us. Mm -hmm. And the government's hand dropping to us that we need to be careful who we associate with. Indeed. So, you know, I hope you don't mind, but we're making it more public of what happened because we need the government to know and to check you guys out and to make sure that you're not, like, harming us unintentionally. I think they're checking out everybody that uh, contacts us or vice versa at that rate. I think so. So they might not know that we contacted the government. That's true. I could just put that in like a pin at the top of my page. Mm -hmm. or... And our dissertation. Do you want us to make the dissertation public? We would be declassifying information. I don't know if we should do that. You, you, guys, don't put us in a bad position here. We will defend our integrity. We will defend our character. And we will defend ourselves. And we would even defend you. But we're not going to defend you for falsely accusing and then trying to drive a wedge between us. We've gone to your, your conventions occasionally, and we met some of you people, and you seemed kind of nice, so, you know, don't, don't be stabbing us in the back. And that's why we're assuming that there's a communication issue, so you guys might want to figure out where that issue is. Go to the beach, put up an umbrella or a cabana, draw on the sand, talk to each other. We don't hide anything because we're done with that. That is what all these, how long since the Renaissance, that, that's what we've been learning. I thought just 1600s, no, 1400s. This cosmic dust has been around. You know, Queen Elizabeth, I, I did a lot of research. She had a lot of uh, that white, the zinc oxide, I think it is, on her body. You know, she had a very high hairline. This stuff eats your hair. Yeah, I'm losing it. You want to see? Yeah, I ain't Q. Look at this. Where, where is my stuff here? I'm so mad. Here, I can make a freaking pillow out of this and stuff it. Wow, that's my hair. Yeah, I'm suffering greatly, so don't even start with me. Yeah, and some of you are in the arts like we are, dancers. Labyrinth, you know that movie? I read the original script and that what turned up in the movie was not it. Yeah. Yeah, some of them should know. I know. That's why I'm so appalled at some of this stuff. So, I'm not detaching from my father either. Glenn, no way. I am gonna bring him over and I'm gonna work hard. I've been working hard. We're, we're writing notes and reports and everything to help save the world in here, in our car, while we're being chased down. We don't deserve this treatment at all. So, 
be careful guys because the government's gonna check you guys out too. I'm just saying. And they're gonna probably call you out on it. You really shouldn't be treating us badly. You don't know what the hell you're talking about at all. And just so you know too, there's another credit record that says that my husband is married to a 29 year old. The CQ is like covering all their bases. Okay, so if the, you know, older than him daughter thing doesn't work out, we'll just have him married to a 29 year old instead. Okay, his brain isn't that mind fucked that he's gonna fall for that. I talked to him about that last night. I was just saying, you sure you wouldn't? He's like, of course not. I'm sorry, I look good, okay? I'm not part of Q. I actually work fucking hard, and it's not easy. And no, I'm losing, look, I, teeth, I'm losing teeth. I'm, I'm, my nails, look at they're getting lifted up from, from the nitric acid, isn't that what it is, right? Certainly and, and other things. Like battery acid yeah. and it burns your scalp oh my god and my nails are getting lifted up we're not sitting posh in some house we can't even go into our residence right now he gets severe side pain i just pass out so i really just don't feel like dying in my apartment so we have guards watching we have security cameras we have security we have a whole bunch of little surprises what what are we supposed to do, you know? And so we have to run and run hard and fast. And they catch up to us and every place we go, every time we try to do something is severely sabotaged. Yeah, you wanna know racism? Racism, I'm telling you, they don't like Jews, these people. At all, I don't know why. And that's why we don't like these guys because they're prejudiced against us and our people. <laughs> I know, and I'm like, forget about it. So, you guys got it all wrong. Jeez. Oh, all this work. You know, you know how much money I make? I make peanuts in comparison to everybody else that works for us, okay? I, I get whatever is left over. I made it that way because I wasn't doing it to make money. Of course, I would like to. I was doing it because I love the arts. I want to help people. Read my books. I'm reading them online out loud. If you can't see them, there's a problem and you need to inform President Biden about this. But it's really bad. And I can't handle this anymore. So you guys need to be our friends because we're your friends. If you're going to be our enemies, it's not going to go well for you because, like I said, we already are filing lawsuits, preparing lawsuits, and everything for everybody who's doing bad things to us on every level, no matter how minuscule it is. So, my God, we're, look at my videos. Look at what we're saying. We're reaching out to our enemies saying, jump on our boat, we will forgive you. My whole Red Ribbons thing is about forgiveness. It's not about vengeance. That's why I don't much like the Me Too thing because they extrapolated things. Oh yeah, we have it very well documented. How I say it in my books long before that was a thing. They extrapolated from when I worked at the Mirage and went to, you know, rat this one guy out because he was grabbing everybody's ass, including mine. Well, you had to do that, considering. Well, of course. But it was, all this was cherry-picked and all of a sudden, me too. And I'm not saying that these women didn't have this stuff happen to them. I'm glad they stood up. But I started hearing things from my videos I made from my ballet teacher to tell her that I loved her and it happened to me too. And then that video just disappears. And then I hear a celebrity use it in portion for one of their speeches from an award ceremony. Come on now. I'm the one who's being harmed greatly here. You know how much money I didn't make? We live like very poor, poor, poor white trash type people. Not because we are white trash or anybody's white trash, but you would typify us like that. What money? We don't have enough money to feed ourselves half the time. If it wasn't for my settlement, my spine was worth just a few thousand dollars. And now I have this permanent thing forever. And I didn't do anything wrong. Oh, and by the way, the guy who rammed into us, he was saying things from our private conversations. You know, rubbing it in. And I'm like, 
oh my gosh, he wasn't there for our private conversations. Who's giving him our words? Well, the guy had an earpiece on during that entire time. I know, that's how it works, too. Oh, go watch our other video. A guy was stalking us, and I'm like, I say it, watch the video, and I say, uh, this is, I think this guy is stalking us, and then he says the same words that I was saying to my son, but he was doing it to us. How do you get our words that quickly? Yeah. That little earpiece thing. That's what these people do, and they try to traumatize us, so I don't know what you guys are thinking. But that's me, that's happening too. You know, I'll give any blood test, any urine test, or anything like that. You will see my real age and what I look like. There's a difference there. I don't know why. I don't, I, I mean, why should I feel badly that I have good genes? I would want that for you. I don't want anybody aging like this. That's why I'm trying to stop Q. Once I figured out dinosaurs are bullshit, yeah. And once I found out the aging thing and menopause is bullshit, it's all from this toxic stuff. Watch our videos before you start tweeting things and saying things. It's really not okay. We have been going through hell. So President Biden, please inform some of these people somehow that they need to lay off of us. Fine, we welcome them as friends. That's what I thought we were doing. That's where I thought we were going. And then there's all these snide, snarky things and people blocking us and I'm like, Wait, why is this turning around like this? I didn't do anything. I don't know what is going on. Anyway, beautifuls, beloveds, no hard feelings, but I'm a very passionate person and you really hurt me. And this, I'm just being honest, okay? I, I can forgive very easily, it's, you know, Obviously, <laughs> if I can forgive evil people doing evil things to me, and this isn't evil, it's just kind of mean and not right, but, you know, please, somebody say something and really get the facts straight, because you're wrong, okay? Um, so let's stop this one here. Oh, you did. Did you reset it just yeah. recently? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna stop it again, and we're gonna go down the line of facts. And that's all it is. I won't get passionate or anything. It's just going to be facts. Let's do that. All right, ready? Go. Okay, hi, Noel Rose Anderson, hyphen Kale, and all those other names. <laughs> um, hashtag Dance Warrior. Um, we're going to go through, oh, raw real, raw, real Uncensored, and I teach dance, I talk about dance, I do dance and films, and we do a whole bunch of different things. I publicly speak, and I, I write books, too. I write books. These are mine, not a 29-year-old fake daughter who's imposturing. Nope. That's a Q antic, and we're going to sue the heck out of these people. Anyway, we are going to tell you facts. Should I introduce myself? Or? Oh, please do. Okay. I have a long introduction because of the trademark and copyright okay. thing. Yeah. Jaden Anderson. What's up? Tell me your real name, okay. too. Real name is Jared K. Kale. You might also know me as J. Kenneth, the... That's the name I usually use for, you know, editing these videos that you're watching here. Mm -hmm. And tell them who you are in relation to me. I am, I, I am her son. Biological. Not adopted, not married, and he's here. I was trying to protect him and trying to protect us, so we used a different name, stage names, and all of this. That's it. You all have different names that you use for your stage names, too. And I can go around and say exactly what your names are very easy and that's normal yeah. and we do it for tax purposes business license and all, all these things and to protect ourselves from you but they know they found out who I was especially after we wrote the dissertation and said so and I'm everybody. tired of hiding and then we got everyone's attention by doing that the government we wrote the Democrats first and then Republicans and then we went up the line to line of command and chain we, of command and then we found out that was a lot of people helping so anyway, he does not have an older sister. There's nobody else named Noel Kale except for me. That is my married name. I married Kale. He, Christopher, is my husband. He is Native American. Everybody in my family interracially married, okay? So I'm not racist. He's not racist. My husband's not racist. And chances are I will probably inter interracially marry. And I applaud <laughs> that. My family had the 
bravery and courage to say, screw it. We had Italians and Sicilians intermarrying, and that was a big faux pas and a big no-no back then, but they did. Okay, so I have Roman and I have Sicilian blood in me. They interracially married. Now, we might look at it and say, well, it's all Italian, but to them, that's, that, that's a no-no, okay? So my family set the standard and said, we love everybody and we want to love whoever we want to love and marry whoever we want to marry. And I did the same thing too. I married a Native American. I was not troubled that he was. It's just the way it is, okay? You love who you love. I can't help it and neither can you. Yeah. We made many, many things in our artwork, Fight for Love. That's about being able to love people no matter what. And the backstory and the backdrop is a dystopian society that tries to stop that. Very much Q, isn't it? We didn't know it was called Q then. We just thought weird people doing bad things to us. And then we learned more. We wrote the dissertation. We got more facts, more evidence. And little by little, we figured it out. Like a lot out. So we're not part of Q. If Q tried to make us look that way, we are obviously fighting against it because we are basically bad-mouthing them. They're hideous people. Yeah, I would think they would notice by all the jokes I make. I know, you would think. Oh yeah. my God. I and mean, when I say Bill, I'm not talking about Bill Shatner. Yeah, <laughs> this isn't the Bill you're looking for. That's my joke. Mm -hmm. That's my hashtag, okay? Mm -hmm. That's not, I, I don't have a younger daughter. There's nobody else named Noel Kale except me. I showed you my driver's license already. That is factual. I showed you my SAG card. That is also factual. We're getting severely dusted here. Somebody oh. is dispensing something. Oh, if you just look at this right here, that might be a bit of a problem. What is it? Just all that. Oh, shit. It caught up to us. Yeah. It, we were getting on the other side of it. We're fighting this really bad dust storm in Texas right now. I think she could hand that to me, please. <laughs> We're trying to find solitude, solace, and safety. And we're not able to. We're being chased, people. So we're not on Q's side by any means. So if you're reading something on our timeline, really tell me what it is. Take pictures of it and say, this is what we see. Because we already know that um, somehow on Amazon, we get one version of my books when we order them. And then other people get another version. And I'm like, why? And where are they going? I was wondering why I wasn't getting any residuals. Which is actually a commonly complained about thing. Mm-hmm. We found that out too. It explains why there's always supposedly used versions and no one ever purchases them from our store, supposedly. Yeah, it's like, where are all these used versions of my books? books coming from I show no sales mm -hmm. nobody I mean I know who has these books our legitimate copies we have their names we have their names they have our phone number yeah and we have them written down we have them numbered because I don't trust anybody obviously because of what's been happening to us mm -hmm. so more facts what else um, I, I'm not gonna apologize again I'm sorry I sound youthful and I look young I, my Aunt Diane had the same thing. Everyone used to say, can I talk to your mother? She sounded so young. I can make my voice sound a little bit deeper, but you know what? I want to be who I am, who God made me to be. I have a very sweet, I can be strong as you can see, uh, voice, but, but I am not going to fake it. This is me. This is all me. Somebody is faking it though, big time. Someone's trying to straw man me and trying to turn you guys against us for some reason. Why? You gotta think about this. Why? We've just proven our family tree. I'm married interracially. Me. He came from my body. I have his birth certificate right here if you'd like to see it. The long form even. A 29 year old woman didn't give birth to him. Impossible. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then if a 29-year-old girl, what, she had sex with, with my husband? That's disgusting. And I, the, the numbers wouldn't even work out. She would have had been two and pregnant with you? 
I mean, it doesn't work. Yeah, guys. So Q didn't think this thing through at all. Yeah, that you guys should be able to add up my age from that. Yeah, figure it out. Use real math, okay? And real science. You guys are not thinking right. And um, so I, I don't understand. I don't understand. Is somebody going around and meeting you guys saying that they're me? Or my younger daughter or something? Or younger daughter or eldest daughter, or whatever it is, a 29-year-old? There's no such person, okay? If they're saying that using our address and impostering, they're going to prison. I'm going to make sure that happens because this is wrong. Indeed. And I've seen some pictures that you guys have been putting up and I'm like, is that the person? I don't know. But they don't even look like anybody in my family. Not even close. No. So, I don't know. But maybe we've got it wrong, but when someone starts blocking us and then you all are just going after his account like you are, I'm like, why are you all gonna going after him for? It seems like you're trying to separate us, and I, I want to know why. It's not going to work, obviously, because he's like, this is bullshit. Why? I don't know these people. Yeah, didn't I block that guy? Yeah, I did. How does it, well, tell them how it makes you feel. Oops, I'm sorry. Tell them how it makes you feel. I mean, Here, I'm your mother. Well, it's not up there. <laughs> sorry, I'm over. All right, well, aside from the fact that I'm not really good at the whole emotion thing, but distinctly I decided to block the guy after seeing what he was doing. It's like he comments, he gives a like on one of my comments, which is very strange. I, I'll just say what the comment was. He said something about something, something, and then love at the end. And then I comment saying, that's love with a big cursive L on the beginning, which I don't know what the hint drop means completely. I don't know either. Remember Lauren and Shirley? She had that cursive L on I, her? And I'm seeing that cursive L being used a lot in just media and just on the side of buildings and stuff. It's weird. Yeah, I don't know what that... I. It seems like a hint drop. I've not seen that L populated. And I watched the show, so I She would had it on her sweaters a lot. I, I would recognize it. But I put it there because I knew it was some kind of hint drop. He liked it, and then I saw that he blocked your account for some... Well, or it's our biz, Sorry, account. our business account. So I'm like, what? So I block him. I don't blame you. And then another one of the Star Trek people liked one of my comments after that, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? I never got gotten that much attention from verified accounts before. I know, and I've never gotten blocked by verified accounts before, or our business account. I say I, but I was the last one kind of using it. Yeah. But you used it last year, so I don't know. Yeah. We have a, a few people that use that account, too, so. Yeah, I just tried not to make a whole bunch of jokes on the business account. I know. Yeah. We try not to. We try to... We're actually trying to communicate to some people who we think are, are helping us guys. Okay, so you need to kind of like back off. Talk to the Star Wars people. They know what's going on. You guys are getting confused. Indeed. Just ask the government people. They know what's going on. But, you know, please don't hurt us. Let's keep going with facts here. What else do we need to list as a fact? Our company is interracial completely. We had all genders. Uh, we had a get rid of everybody recently and just keep it in the family because um, it's a security breach if we have anybody we don't completely trust and we'll fix it on the other side but for right now because our lives are in danger we've been getting hit drops that this crappy old vehicle has some kind of explosives or I, I don't know something something weird considering the people that had your your uh, intellectual property I wouldn't be surprised if that was a possibility for sure they they have control over the stereo and radio and the yeah. vents and the locks go watch those videos too and you'll you'll hear us responding and react sorry, reacting to them plus there's that whole battery acid smell that's coming out of our car through the air system yeah it's like how is this happening we checked it wasn't the battery i don't think it just seems like it's just in the air filters and something is happening but and, and, you hear me screaming at night did you guys actually get wind of that video that wasn't anybody else that was me because i was in so much pain i remember 
I think these people think that there's another Noel Kale. Something is wrong. Indeed. But I put it up on our timeline. I, I did that one post where we, maybe you should do it too, where you show the documentation, the 29 year old, and then my real documentation. The 29 year old thing is, is a fraud, is false. Yeah. And a police officer said, didn't I just talk to you? And you were saying that somebody was taking pictures of you through the window. I said, well, that happened to me, but I didn't come in just recently. Yeah, the strange thing is that we met that cop before, but it wasn't for that instance. I know. <laughs> and I was like, what's going on here? So then we're thinking, is there a double? And then come to find out. Roll the window up. I don't like that person's... See, we've got people that are shining, and now they walk away when we roll the window up. They, they, they did get their cell phones, and they stick them in our faces and stuff like that. I'm like, who are these people? Anyway, but we, we are suffering greatly here. More facts. We got to more facts. What else do we need to tell these people? Um, uh, see so your work rec work record. Did we say that in this video yet? I worked for Aaron Spelling in the late 80s. Mm -hmm. And he really loved me. Not weird love, just respected me. I didn't have, I, I told him what I thought about things and I wasn't afraid or anything like that. I wasn't mean, but I spoke well. And um, he told me to protect myself, protect my intellectual property. Uh, he liked me a lot. I introduced my husband to him. We were at one of the galas. It was an ABT gala that I helped Lily Tartikoff and um, who else was it? Somebody else. I have the invite and everything in our scrapbooks. I'm like totally brain farting right now. I can't remember. <laughs> um, oh, and Douglas Kramer. I also, I was in Writers 2, Writers 1. It, it was a Formosa lot. It used to be um, right across, well, it was the Warner Brothers lot off of Formosa, right across with the cafe, that uh, Formosa cafe. And, um, yeah, so I worked for both of them. And whenever Aaron Spelling summoned, you hopped to it. So I was very happy and pleased to, to work for the guy. So I did. And I, I just would like to know what's going on because I never agreed to working for Q, giving Q my stuff, obviously, because I'm trying to find out why this is happening and I'm trying to stop it. That was proven. We have all the time and date stamps. We have copies of the dissertation, everything. So you guys need to dial it back a little bit on that. That is factual too, what we've been doing. What, what else? I worked for a lot of very important people in the industry and we became semi-important people in the industry too. And then we were like pushed away. I don't know what happened actually. It's probably Q. He just opened the window. It's getting out of here. And, um, you know, th this is where we're at. And I told people that I was a different age. Long time ago. Why? Because these people don't want to know that I have him as a son and I'm doing all this dance. And, you know, they're very discriminatory. What am I supposed to do? I had to hide my identity in a sense. But I wasn't. I was really me. I just didn't answer the question. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Really? This is very hard on me. You go through what I'm going through and then maybe you can tell me what I can do to fix this. It's not easy. But I'm very proud of the things I've accomplished. Everything I've done, it wasn't for me. It was for everybody else. The only thing that was kind of like for me was maybe the calendar. I was on Lois Greenfield's uh, 2019 calendar. She picked me. I didn't have anything to do with that. Yeah, it's, it's the same picture. This is me. This is not my daughter, okay? Or somebody else. This is me. And this, from my mentor, you know, it was from her one dance that I was in. We go like this and and we jump and turn around and I know the choreography by heart still. And this was uh, a gesture that we all picked a gesture and she chose which one she wanted to use for this part. You know, your hand comes down the side and it goes like this and you kind of go like this. It's this very uh, Pina Bausch-esque, very beautiful dance. I love her. 
Peter Bausch and my mentor. And she's Asian. I love her. She's also my um, yoga master. You know what? People would be who know me. They would say, "No, I was not even slightly racist." Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're gonna be really pissed off, Indeed. as as I am. Um, what else? Anyway, we're going through a lot here. I, I can't even describe how much we're going through. But once you're in our shoes, then maybe you can criticize, because we're not even sinning. We were trying to stop the people who were sinning. These people, like Q, they, they go after people. They, they try to kill us several times. If that in and of itself doesn't explain and tell you guys, we have the police reports here too. And tell you guys, go, go look on my timeline, my Facebook timeline. I think it's Noel5678, you know, facebook.com backslash Noel5678, I think. 5678, because I'm a dancer. 5678, you know. You can put it on Twitter so people can just go there. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Why don't you do it? Because they, <laughs> they seem to like you better than me for some reason. And I'm not saying that you're not a likable person, but it's I'm the one who laid my life down for this. You didn't do that. You've just been a support. Yes, granted, I am putting myself at risk, too. But... Oh, I know. I don't mean it. Oh, my God. See what I mean? I Sometimes I say stupid things like that. I don't mean it like that. I'm just saying that it, it was done to me. Yeah, they but... didn't steal your stuff. They stole my stuff, and I risked by doing that. And yes, you did. You are risking yourself by supporting me. Yes. yes. Sorry. You do know some of these other bad people have stolen my stuff, too, right? Actually, yeah, the fork thing. Oh, shit. What is that? Don't touch it. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Throw this out. Mm -hmm. That's how, see, that is how cautious we have to be. We can't trust anything. <sighs> anyway, uh, what were you saying? What were you saying? Oh, yeah, peace. But the risk and stop here. Why don't you scoot closer? Yes. This isn't all about me here. So, yeah, people have also stolen my stuff, too. <laughs> Not as much. No, but we're going to catch all of them. But I don't consider it nice these people be liking my comments, necessarily. What? I don't consider it nice that the people like my comments and stuff when they're blocking you or something. Well, it's no. not just me. It's our business account. You use it too. Yeah. Which is perplexing to me. We have the names of everybody who uses it. The executive board, our personal accounts in the, in the description. Indeed. That's, that's why I don't understand why these people are doing this. Or maybe it's just him. Maybe. I still think it's strange that what's her name got noticed that right after. <laughs> that's a little snarky. Yeah. Hopefully we're, we're wrong and mistaken. But I'm like, oh my gosh, I actually like that lady too, like a lot. I even put a heart and a rose on our timeline and because it's Women Appreciation Month. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, oh, look at our all new friends, you know. And so I wanted to do something nice. So I looked to see what they had that I liked about them. And there's more. I could have gone on pages. And so I did that. And that, that was me. That was nobody else. A little heart and a little rose icon. That was me. And I said beautiful things about everybody. Yep. I was like, that's what I'm saying. How could anybody misconstrue anything of us having any kind of like hatred towards other people mm -hmm. now towards the bad guys yeah just a little but as you can see we are offering even forgiveness and a salve of forgiveness can cover that so easily we have to it's the right thing to do law provides for it too so we study the law too yeah that is terrible mm -hmm. I really hope we're not getting it right in a sense but it looks this way to us that blocking thing and I'm like why the hell is that happening I'll be honest the guy kind of acted very rudely just on a general note really I, yeah I didn't pay attention not, not to us but just generally really personality thing I noticed oh I don't know I don't know I don't know this person about yeah. him Indeed. But we thought he was a friend, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe we shouldn't respond and reply. Mm. 
I, I'm I trying to figure out what to do here, but I think some people have pegged me wrong for sure. Yeah, well, I don't think not responding is the correct thing to do, because I bother just about everybody on purpose, sometimes trying to bother them. <laughs> 